In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this nice animated slide in Canva with the five expanding tabs in a presentation. And it's actually not that difficult. We're starting from a blank slide. And the first thing you want to do is you want to change the background color to something dark blue. Of course, you can choose any color that you like. I'm going to press R to add a rectangle to the screen and add it to the top left. Make sure it connects to the bottom. And now we're going to hold Option and Shift or Control Shift to create a copy and do that four times until you have five tabs covering the page. You see, we don't reach the end. That doesn't matter. We're going to select all. You can either drag and select all or hold the Shift key and click. And then we're going to expand it so that it meets the sides. And now we're going to give them a different color. So select the first one and we're going to make the first one light. And in the second one, we go one tint darker each time like this. Now we're going to add some content to the slide. So I go to the text tab and add a title. I'm going for letter A and increase it in size. I'm also going to make the text white and then position it in the middle of the first tab. Again, hold Option Shift and create a copy and do that for each tab. And then one final one. There we go. The content I'm going to change to B, C, D, and E. And we can also work with a subtitle. I'm just going to add some dummy text, lorem ipsum, and then position it below the text. And then maybe some body text that we want to add. And we're going to position that as well in the middle. And I'm going to use this lorem ipsum app. If you don't have that, you can, let's say it starts like this. You can go to the app section and here type in lorem ipsum. And this will give you a lorem ipsum generator that you can install. The number of words, let's say 20, font size can be 14, and generate text. And this gives you some dummy text to work with. Then I can remove the body text here and then position that nicely in the middle. I'm going to align center line and also make this one white. Maybe give it some more spacing so that we can add an icon in the middle. If you like the text, you can copy that to the other tabs. Again, with the Option and Shift button. And I'll go to the Elements and type in Icons. Go to All Graphics. And here we can select any icon that we like. If you like it, you can just add it and then give it a different color. In our case, it's going to be white. And let's position it below the first letter. I'm going to repeat that for some other icons. One, two, three, and four. It doesn't really matter which icon you take. Select them and let's make them a bit smaller. And then we're going to equally distribute them on the design. One here and last one here. Of course, we want to make those white as well. So I'm going to click one at a time and then add the white color, the white fill color. You can scale them up or down depending on the size, but I think this looks quite good. Now what we want to do is we want to group each tab. So select all the elements, including the tab itself and press Ctrl G or Command G if you're working on a Mac. I'm going to group them all, same for the A. And now we're going to double check the position. So go to position tab. And here we want to make sure again that the dark is on top and the lightest is at the bottom. Now we're going to duplicate the page. So duplicate the slide. And then on the first slide, we want to drag all the tabs to the left. So one by one until all the letters and the content is covered. And then once more, select them all. And then we also want, of course, to hide the A. There we go. Now we can add a title to the slide. So go to the text tab, title. And here, for example, we say slide. This could be your title of your document or presentation. That doesn't really matter. Hold Option Shift to create a copy, make it smaller. And here I'm going to type animate, animate it. Let's make it yellow so that it stands out nicely. And you know what? I'm going to give it a drop shadow that pops out a little bit extra. Copy that text and maybe this one, call it tutorial. Animate, I think we can make it a bit larger like this. Same with the slide, just a little bit. And in tutorial, I'm going to use a different font, something handwritten. Let's try lobster. I think that will look quite nice. Increase it in slide, increase it in size, and then position everything nicely. 
I want to make sure that I group these together. So select them all, Control G, right click, and I want to send them to the back. I can't do that here, so I go to the Position tab, and I put the text elements all the way at the bottom, right above the background. I'm going to copy it, paste it on the second slide, and here as well, I want to put that text layer as the bottom one right above the background. And now what we want to do is we want to add a transition. So go to show pages and then in between the slides, you click on add transition. And here we want to use the magic move effect and increase the duration to about 2.5 seconds. And now let's preview what we have. So now we have a beautiful opening slide. And as soon as we click, the tabs will expand to the full screen and give you a nice looking slide to compare five different points on a page. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to follow the channel and watch the video on the screen right now.